five degrees today. The sun is shining. I feel very motivated. I'm just enjoying the last few sips of my coffee. I'm working on finishing up my weekender. I am going to be casting off the sleeve, trying it on, weaving it ends, blocking it. I have bread in the oven. <laughs> I really want to enjoy taking in a solid day just to myself and enjoy the weather. Um, I'm going to do plant care, clean the house, and just make myself feel comfortable. Um, I feel like it's just a refreshing, a refreshing start. A spring, spring cleaning day, spring start, I don't know. Um, but I will bring you along for the journey. You want to come say hi? Come here, Ed. Come on. Come on. Okay. You want to say good morning? Good morning, world. Good morning, everyone. I am very loud. I am very cranky. But I'm so happy to have a pinch. Can I show everyone your stinky little toes? Those are his stinky little toes. Bye. The house is clean. Waiting on some laundry. Making myself lunch. Going to take a break. Enjoy some refreshing water and <laughs> probably take the cats out. They really need to go outside or play with them. Ed is dying for attention. Sir. Sir. Is this necessary? Okay. So here is my list of things that I would like to accomplish for my shop update eventually. I have made quite a few uh, sticker sets, so I'm excited about that. That's a great restock step. I still have quite a few, quite a few to cut out. Right now, I am just going to plan out my new week. I I do a new like, weekly planner every week. So that's what this whole entire journal is. <laughs> it's my own personal variation of like a bullet journaling method that I found on Pinterest a long time ago. And it's very helpful to just kind of dump all my thoughts out onto the paper. Yeah. I'm gonna do this and then I think I will wrap up the rest of my chores, which is just like some more laundry. And then I get to go outside and play with my plants. So that'll be fun.
So the only project I got to work on today is weaving in the ends on my weekender, casting off the last sleeve, the sleeve that I had to re-knit. Now I'm going to block it and then hopefully try it on again tomorrow and give you my thoughts and opinions. As I think I have previously stated a few times before, um, I have very mixed feelings about the fit and I think that it's just a dated style, in my opinion, for, for my style personally. And so I'm curious to see how this is going to fit into my wardrobe and there is potential that it's going to be gifted or eventually frogged down the road. We'll see after blocking. Um, I think one of the big issues I'm gonna have is with the hem. I think that the hem is just going to flip up and fold up more than I like. Hopefully that is a situation that is solved by blocking. Uh, the other issue are the sleeves. I find that the sleeves are way too tight. Not my fit at all. It's not comfortable for me. So again, if it's an issue that's solved with blocking, then maybe I'll wear it a lot. So we'll see. We'll see. New day, same shirt. I like I like what I like. Um, sitting down, having some nachos. Uh, you saw me working earlier on this little frog guy. Oh no, this little frog guy. He's adorable. I'm about to finish him up today. It's just one of my goals. Then I'm done with my knitting projects and I get to start a new one mulling over what I want to cast on next. I think something really simple and easy, probably a pair of socks because I just want something that I can sit on the couch and like just easy sit on the couch and knit and I don't have to read a pattern or anything. And then consider what I eventually would like to do <laughs> down the road with um, my next knitting pattern, like my next big piece, my next sweater. So. I will hopefully try this on today and you guys can get to see what it looks like. But other than that, I'm going to focus on really trying to relax today. By relax, that probably means do all of my social media posts and planning and <laughs> do my therapy session and work on my shop update. I mean, those are things that I find enjoyable. so. Not the therapy part, but <laughs> working on my shop update is enjoyable for me. Um, it's very relaxing and calm to like mostly just cut out stickers right now. And I can push off writing any listings for as long as I want. Here he is. Little freaky frog. Very cute. It's a little funny, a little funny shape. <laughs> so I think the hardest thing about um, these patterns, let me actually, so this is, this is called Frog. That's the pattern name by Claire Garland. And um, she's known as Dot Pebbles on like Instagram and stuff. My mom is someone who has like knit a lot of her patterns. She loves to make these little like, She's done her duck and her cats and all those things. She's a knit sculpture. Like, so she basically makes sculptures out of knitting 
and she's very talented and very good at it. So I think my shaping is a little bit funny, but it does make this little frog guy unique to me. Um, he's, his body is what kind of throws me off. I think either I overstuffed it or just <laughs> the shape is just kind of funny. Um, so it looks like a weird frog. And maybe that also has to do with the shaping around the mouth, whatever it is. Um, but there's a lot of little techniques that go into creating one of these. And basically you just have to get better at it over time and just experiment with learning how to shape something into what it, what it needs to be. <laughs> he's really cute though. And he's going to be on top of my sewing machine until <laughs> I can figure out where I want him to go. Someone's dog is running away. <laughs> or that was a cat. Here it is. It is finished. This is my Weekender by Andrea Mowry. So, uh, shall we talk about it a little bit? Um, I was really worried about the fit. I tried it on several times before blocking it and I was like, I hate this. I'm gonna hate this sweater. But now that it's on and it's finished and it's blocked, I feel pretty happy with it. Um, it's a baggy mom sweater. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it. Uh, but it's still really cute and very comfortable. Love the neckline. Um, even happy with how my cast off turned out. It's not right. I also didn't bind off properly. I say properly according to the instructions on the pattern but regardless of all the little tweaks and um i don't know what you would say like skipping some things just doing it my way i am i think i'm gonna like it there's a seam here because i was laddering my like i was working with two different skeins of yarn and so i was swapping the colors every row or the skeins every row so I got more of a blended look on the yarn um yeah I don't know what do you guys think I'm gonna wear it out tomorrow see how I feel about it and have some fun okay making myself late for work but video <laughs> thank you so much for joining me for coming to hang out if you're working on anything fun leave a comment down below uh, if you also like want to let me know what you enjoy seeing or what you enjoy watching me make it's it's always nice to get some ideas on what you guys like to see me film and yeah i hope you're all enjoying spring and that's it i'll see you in the next one bye